dear students last class we studied the various the mathematical equations which describe the propagation of electromagnetic wave in a medium or in a free space electromagnetic wave has two of the field one is electric field and magnetic field in the given figure we can see that the blue color indicates an electric field it is oscillating with the reference to an axis similarly a red indicates a magnetic field which is also oscillating but both e and b are they are orthogonal at any moment at any point in the space the proportionality is maintained they are orthogonal to each other perpendicular to each other though their magnitude is changing with the time but they are maintaining the orthogonality and this wave is propagating on the z axis so from this figure we can see that e and b so e is on x axis and b is on y axis and b is the velocity of propagation and it is propagating at the speed of the light but in some cases some circumstances the phase of this electric and magnetic waves will change that is depending on the condition through which medium they are propagating propagating that there is the medium may attenuate the waveform or the, due to the properties of the, the medium there will be a slight changes in the phase phase if the phase of the a wave is the same for all points on a plane surface it is called plane wave so the plane wave is nothing but the phase of a wave is same for all point on a plane surface and if amplitude is also constant in a plane wave then it is called uniform plane wave so uniform plane wave amplitude and the phase of electromagnetic wave is same for all points on a plane surface so there are some properties for uniform plane waves i am going to list out a three different properties of the uniform plane waves property number 1 at every point in space electric field e so vector and magnetic field h are perpendicular to each other yeah. these vectors should be orthogonal to each other and also to the direction of the, the travel so these two vectors also should be perpendicular to the, the direction of propagation this is the number one. now uh, looking at this figure we can see that there is a particular frequency at which both these fields are oscillating the second property of uniform plane wave is the fields vary harmonically with the time and at the same frequency everywhere in the space the frequency should be same the frequency of e wave similarly the frequency of h wave so this is on x axis and this is on y axis and this is the z axis number 3 the direction of e and h should not change at any point 
in any plane okay this e and h should be perpendicular to q both e and h the direction should not change and both should be perpendicular to the velocity of propagation so from this figure we know that e is in x direction h is h or b both are same h is in the y direction then the velocity the wave is traveling in he said that last class we derived the expression form the wave equation for free space wave equation for free space del square e minus q sigma so in free space Reference to y and z. If you do so, it becomes zero. Uh, we must we must remember that e is a vector quantity. So this quantity can be represented as e is a vector quantity. So e x a x plus e y a y plus e z a z. A x a y a z are unit vectors along x y and z axis. E x the coefficients e x e y e z are the magnitude of that vectors along x y and z axis respectively. If now if you take the parts of those uh, these vector components along x y and z axis, this can be represented as if suppose it is x axis component.
but we already learned that of uh, this field the electric field has only x term this is oscillating with reference to this x axis there is um, no point of discussing and they are taking derivative of this uh, vector field along y and x if you do so you will get as uh, zero so this become Uh, this is in a uniform field, in a uniform plane, there is no variation of Ex in the x direction. So Ex is absolutely a constant thing. In a plane, if the amplitude is same, the magnitude is same, but there is no phase difference, frequency change, then Ex is absolutely a constant. And this proves that if you take the derivative of a term and if you get a zero, that means it is a constant x. That means the ex is not changing along the x axis. The plane is a pure uniform plane. And the wave is a uniform plane wave. Similarly, the Maxwell's, this was Maxwell's third equation. In a free space and the Maxwell's fourth equation is the divergence of the magnetic is acting to be zero. So we know that the relationship between B and H B equal to V H. So the previous one becomes so So divergent of H or X H Y or Y H is the so is it so we know that H is varying along the Y axis. So there is no component of the oscillation of x, the x wave along uh, x and z axis. That means these two become none. Okay, so finally we will get a similar equation that of an analytic field. It, it it, it shows that there is no variation of e h y component in the, the y axis. So these are the conditions to be satisfied for a uniform plane field. This is number two. Number one. An electromagnetic wave equation which can be described electromagnetic wave which can be described with a wave equation if wave equation satisfies if that propagating wave satisfies these two conditions then it is a uniform plane wave 